from New York, it's the Tom Likas Show. My nipples are getting hard. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800. 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio with uh, this story from Yahoo. Yahoo, of course, doesn't generate any of its own news. Uh, they took this from a website called LiveScience.com. And here it is. New research claims... Older men who shack up with much younger women keep the Grim Reaper at bay for the human population and extend our species' lifespan. Did you know that? Very good news. Says here, even beyond movie stars and playboys, Hugh Hefner, there is a tendency for older men to partner with younger women. According to the study published in the August 29th edition of PLOS One, whatever that is, in less developed traditional societies, males are about 5 to 15 years older than their female partners. In the United States and Europe, guys are an average of two years senior to their partners. Says here, more interesting, when old men father children, their genes seem to increase the lifespan of both sexes over evolutionary time. Here's how it works. Women often lose their reproductive capacity around age 50. But if men can still reproduce into their 70s, Darwin would say it's advantageous for males to live longer lives, providing they can hook up with a woman capable of reproducing. Natural selection should favor longevity-boosting genes, which would get passed down from fathers to both sons and daughters, so women would benefit as well in future generations, the scientists say. Result? Over time, the younger guy with younger gal lifestyle would lift the lifespan ceiling for both men and women the next generations and so on. Study team member Cedric Pulliston, a doctoral candidate at Stanford University, said by increasing the survival of men, you have a spillover effect on women because men pass their genes to children of both sexes. Anthropologist Cheryl Jameson of Indiana, Indiana University, who was not involved in the research, called the results fascinating. It says here, from an evolutionary perspective, women who can no longer reproduce are non-players. We've been saying that for years, for different reasons. And it says here, since it takes two, men partnered with menopausal women are also irrelevant. Following that idea, natural selection should select for harmful mutations that impact women after menopause. Over time, the discriminating genes would accumulate in the population, causing what evolutionary biologist William Hamilton called the wall of death, in which mortality of women spikes at the onset of menopause. Population records and everyday observations indicate that's not the case. Life expectancy for men and women in today's industrialized countries is 75 to 85 years, with mortality increasing gradually, not abruptly, 
following female menopause. To figure out whether male fertility could help explain human longevity, Shripad Tujia Parker of Stanford University and his colleagues examined lifespan and fertility data from both men and women. They studied the four societies thought to closely mimic lifestyles of our ancestors, including two hunter-gatherer groups, one from Paraguay and the other from the Kalahari, as well as the Yanomano forager farmers and an indigenous group in Bolivia called the Samani. The research team also looked at farming villages in Gambia and a group of modern Canadians. In all six groups, women stopped having children on average by their 50s, while some men continued to reproduce. The age after which men uh, showed no reproduction varied among the groups. Until now, the most popular explanation for the bounty of over 55s, called the grandmother hypothesis, suggested women get a life extension in order to care for their children and grandchildren. The new findings don't contradict that hypothesis, but help explain how men give women another boost over what is called the wall of death. It says here, why do men choose younger mates and females prefer older men? Anthropologist Martin Feider of the University of Vienna, who was not involved in the current study, said, there was a lot of evidence from evolutionary psychology that men are seeking younger women and, and, and women are seeking older men. Cases in point, at the age of 26, Anna Nicole Smith married 89-year-old Jeremiah Howard Marshall II. In 1995, actor Tony Randall, then 75, married and had two kids with Heather Harlan, who was 24 at the time. Last month, 90-year-old Nanu Ram Yogi from India reportedly became the world's oldest father when he announced his 21st child. Evolutionary psychologists argue that older men have more resources to protect and care for the family, while younger, more fertile women give their male partners better means of passing along genes. In a study of about 10,000 Swedish men and women, Feeder and his colleagues have found that men had the most children if they were partnered with women about six years younger than themselves. So the benefits of age-defying couples go both ways, plus the human be species gets a boost. Scientific evidence, boys. That you should be pumping and dumping until you get to be a little older. I mean, maybe when you're 50, maybe when you're 55, maybe when you're 60, maybe then is when you hook up with somebody 30, 35 years old, 40 at most. If your plan is ultimately to get married and have children, why not wait as long as you possibly can? It's good for society. I mean, we now have scientific evidence that older men with younger women is a good thing. And I'm sure you girls are very excited about that. Are you excited about that, ladies? Tom. Tom, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Do you have a nice rack? <laughs> Oh, you would like to know, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. And what would that do for you? I'd probably pitch a tent here in the studio. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas sh sh Show. And 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. So we have scientific evidence that older men being with younger women, that, that's good. Genetically, it's good. It's good for society. What do you think about that? More scientific evidence that when you're an older guy, you should just keep going with the younger ones over and over and over. And that should be your game plan, folks. 1-800-5800-TOM. <laughs> Alicia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Alicia. How are you? I do care. I do care. I'm doing great. Great. Well, Tom, let me tell you, I am, I listen to you all the time, have always been trying to call because every subject, every uh, subject that you're touching, I always have something to relate to it. And today I just had to get through and I just had to call you. Just wanted to share that um, I'm actually dating someone very much older than myself. I'm 20, going to be 21 next month. And um, he's 54, going to turn 55. 54, he's going to turn 55, and? 
and it's the best relationship that I've had so far. And I know I'm pretty young, but it's just everything's better. Tell us, tell us what's better. The sex, Tom. The sex <laughs> is so good. Really? Honestly, yes, really. And I swear, I've, I've, you know, I've had sex with guys my age and everything, but nothing compares to an older man, ladies. I swear, they, they teach you things, they do things to you. It, it's amazing. I, that's what drives me crazy about it. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're happy. Now, now here you are. You've got probably your parents and your friends giving you a hard time about it. You know what? I'm very secretive about it, and not a lot of people know about it. Because, like, we really can go out, you know, together and stuff. But the times that we do go out, it's funny because they think I'm his daughter. And um, I don't really, I haven't really told my parents, of course, or my friends. My friends are dying to find out who's the guy who buys me this, you know, the guy who calls me. The guy who I just take off with, like, you know, on the weekends, because I can do that with him, because he's older, you know what I mean? Um, he takes me out, trips, um, whatever I want, really. I spoil him, he spoils me. Sounds good. Yeah, I love so, it. So you love the sex. I love he, the he sex. He buys you stuff, so for you, that's good, right? Yeah, you know, and I mean, I do take care of him in every way that I can. And, you know, since I listen to your show, I take everything that you say as tips. You know what I mean? Um, I make sure when I'm over to his house, you know, I cook for him clean and um, just take care of him. Really? Yeah. I mean, that just, like, kind of grows out of, on you. I mean, after a, a long night of just amazing sex, you just want to wake up and cook something, you know? Wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah. I'm so serious, you know. And just uh, want to feed him well to make sure, you know, he gets his energies back. And we're on it again. Yeah. That's kind of that how, how that works. Listen to you. Yeah, it's, it's the best. You are so happy. I am. I am. And, you know, it's... I, this is so funny because this is one of my friends from, like, the few girls that I've... You know, I've told them, they're like, oh, my God, is his, you know, what, wrinkled? And I'm like, no, it's the best one I've seen. <laughs> you know, he does. I mean, I'm not that looking at all, so it's it's really not hard. But that's it's just the best um, guys with experience. I mean, and this that's experience. I mean, he's going to be 55 next month, and, you know, I care nothing about his past, who he's been with, or anything like that. But it's just and he so is great. he is unmarried. Uh yes, he is. Mm. Unmarried, and you know what? This is funny, Tom. I'm like a year, two years older than his young, uh, his youngest daughter. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> you love no that. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, that's like his youngest, his youngest daughter. He has four kids, I think. I, I don't know them, but they're, you know, they're all my peers. And, it, <laughs> and you know what? That Even that makes it so exciting. Oh, it's amazing. I think that's such a turn on to me. I don't know. It's crazy. Listen to you. Yeah, I'm just so excited. It's, it's, I was just with him last night. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was great, Tom. I'm telling you, older men, it, they just touch you. The way you know, it's just the way they touch you. A young guy my age, twenty years old, twenty one, he just he just touches you just to touch you. You know what I mean? But this guy touches you to turn you on, to grab you, to hold you, to really get a feel of you. You know? And you're you're getting all excited just telling me about. It. I know. I know, Tom. This is so funny. I am uh, just thinking about it. Make, <laughs> I don't want to go into details, but you get the picture. I do get the picture. I do. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you don't have a problem with people doing this. Of course, you're not one of the poor 40-something women who are not going to have the guy you're with. Yeah. I'm not one of them at all. You know, and 
I just, I, they're just so much mature. And you could just have a serious, it's not only, to me, the sex is like number one, right? But number two, it's like, you know, he's, he'll sit there and go and put up with my little talk. Because I am a girl. I am going to talk. But, you know, I guess it's worth the sex. I don't know. So he wishes you would just shut up. Yeah, and you know why? Maybe that's why he just, you know, does what he does to me. <laughs> really? <'Cause> he, yeah. <laughs> I love it, Tom. I'm telling you, I love it. Holy cow. I, I couldn't imagine my life without him. Without well, get get used to it, dear, because in about 20 years, it's about the limit right there. <laughs> yeah, and this is like the cool thing about it. It's like he's always, you know... Um, he's always telling me how, well, I know I shouldn't believe him or anything, but he's always just telling me how he really just wants to keep me around for a while. Like he, he once even thought about having kids together. How old were you then? Uh, I think when I was 18. Holy cow. Yeah. Met him when I was 18 and, you know, we've been together for two years. And uh, when we first met each other, he wanted, he talked about kids and having kids. And, you know, I was just a little, wait a minute, I'm too young for kids. I really don't want to have kids. And, I mean, now it's like if he wanted to, maybe when I'm done with school. When I'm done with school, I'm all up for it, you know? Would you want your kids to have a sibling who's your age? Would I have? <laughs> yeah, I would. You would? They can do whatever yeah. they want. I'm not going to stop them. But you you don't think that would be weird for a kid? Mm, no, I don't think so. Come on. You just don't care. I, I You know what? I, I You're right. I don't. So you would be having a kid. You wouldn't even care about the kid itself. You would just be doing it because he wanted to do it. No, I mean, I would want to have a kid if he wanted to have one with me. But, not but dear, any- don't you, you, he has kids. Yeah, Don't you think kids. that would be weird for your kid if if oh, all no, the kids, kids, would, my kids... My kids would never uh, meet his kids. What do you mean they would never meet his kids? Yeah, well, he doesn't, he doesn't really, you know, talk to them. He rarely sees them. And he will, you know, from... Dude, to- now let me ask you a stupid question, dear. Do, okay. you, do you see that as a red flag? Having kids with him? No. The fact that he has children and never talks to them. Yeah, well, it is. But then, like, I know what he's been through with them. Like, I've seen it myself, the way they treat him. And I understand because he's been away from home because he's, he's pretty much set. set. And, uh, you know, he was never there for them, which is maybe it's which is. Well, why that, that's there. what I'm talking about, dear. Do, do, don't you see that as a red? I do. Yeah. But the thing is that, I mean, when they were younger, he wasn't there because he was always working, you know, and he's planning on retiring and just being with the, he wants to like actually be with one of his kids. Like he never spent quality time. He never had the father, you know. Oh, so the other kids thing. are really going to hate that kid. Yeah, I know. They're going to really hate him. So see, he never really had that. So then it's like he wants to have that. And, and you don't that. see this as a problem? No, because I know he couldn't be there so much for them like he wanted to. I mean, well, he could have been. He made a choice in life. Dear, let me tell you something. Uh huh. I I work like he works. Mm hmm. Okay. But what I did was I thought about it and I said, you know what? That wouldn't be fair to a child to do what my father did, which is to work, work, work all the time and never be around. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have kids. You see? Yeah. He did it anyway. Yes, he did. But don't you see it as a red flag that he didn't even think about? He just went ahead and had kids and Mm -hmm. then spent no time with them. Yeah, I do. But, you know, I would that like that wouldn't really completely stop me from it because I kind of understand. You can, but dear, I'm not saying don't have don't have fun with him. But why would you want to have children with somebody who did that? Yeah, it's true. You're right. You're right. Of course, you're right. 
You're having right. children is serious stuff. And by the way, these are children who are going to be around with you long after he's gone. Yeah, because he, he wouldn't really have that much time left, right? <laughs> right. And I could just see all of you fighting over his will. That's going to be wonderful. No, yeah, you're right. All that. Oh, no. And then his side of the family, his kids, like from things that I've heard, it, they're crazy. Like the mom, the girl, like his ex-wife. Darling, crazy. remember, he's telling you he's telling you this from his point of view. Um, No, because when I, when I met him, I was actually at the same place, at the same place he works. So, like, I actually got to see things before I even, like, really got, like, really, you know, became friends with him. Got into this relationship that I went, so I actually saw it from an outside point of view. But then it's like I got in and then, you know. Well, dear, I, you didn't see it for very long because you've been with him since you were 18. Yeah, but for the time that I was there. But, yeah, well, you right. see, you you had to be seeing him before he broke up with his wife. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was and you don't, for a whole year. Like, and you don't see, wait, wait, wait. And you don't see that as a red flag? Yeah, I do. But, see, I know, realistically, me and him, it, it's not going to be like a, it's not going to be, um, how do I say this? It, this is not going to be marriage. You know what I mean? I'm not going to marry him. Then why would you have a baby with him? I'm saying maybe later on if I'm still with him by the time I'm done with school, you know. I maybe. don't care. When, when, the point is, if you're not going to marry him, why would you have a baby with him? Well, no. If I, if I had kids with him, obviously I would I would marry him. I wouldn't just have him just like that. But then, you know? but then you have to look at these red flags. This is somebody who, yeah. when he got upset at his wife, just went out and started banging somebody else. Mm -hmm. What right. makes you I think he wouldn't do that to you? You're right. I should just keep having fun, huh? <laughs> right, dear. No babies, no marriages. Have fun, and when he served your purposes, move on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he served them right. <laughs> well, I understand, dear, but don't get carried away and have a baby. That would be stupid. You're right. It, it, what was I thinking? Why am I, I mean, let's say, just to give you an example, let's say you got married to him and uh -huh. then he died uh -huh. and you've got his kid and now his other kids are fighting you over the will. Uh -huh. What if they win? How are you going to support that kid? You're right. Don't you ever You're think right. about any of this? Uh, yeah, see, the thing is, like, I'm not, like, serious about it. I wouldn't really... I, like, well, why, if you're not serious about it, why'd you say it? Well, because it was just something that we talked about, you know? No, you you told me earlier that w later on when you graduate school, you would consider doing it. You said that. If I was still with him, yeah. But, you know? the, dear, I don't care how long you're with him. Mm -hmm. He's a screw-around. He, he did not pay attention to his own children. Mm -hmm. And he will die long before you do, leaving you to fight over the crumbs with his other family. You're right. You could just have fun with him and then plan on moving on at some point. Yeah, I should just take all his tips and just move on and make somebody else happy, right? Dear, I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> People always say, Tom, how come you never give women advice? Well, I'm giving you advice. And and it sounds to me like it's going right over your head. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm so glad I called you. <laughs> As well you should be, dear. Yeah, and you know, I wouldn't take advice from anybody else but you. Really? Yes. I'm Ooh. telling you, I love your show, dude. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, and whenever you're out here in L.A., I will go out there and meet you and take a picture and put it in my wall and say, this is me and Tom. Is that so? Yeah, if it, and if it's a Friday, I will have my shirt up. Is that so? Do you have nice knockers? Yes, I do. You do? Mm-hmm. Very what's perky. Your, what's your cup size, dear? <laughs> I'm a 36 feet. Is that so? That is so. Well, anytime you want to get signed up, I'll sign you up. Okay. I will. I'll be happy and looking forward to that.
All right, well, hang on. Dean will hook that up for God's sake. <laughs> Tom. Tom. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Yo, Tommy, I got a question for you, brother. Yeah, Donnie. You need a sidekick on the broadcasting station? No, I don't. The Tom Likas Show. From the CBS Broadcast Center in New York City, it's the Tom Likas Show. Thank you for tuning in. Here we are. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. And we're talking about uh, scientific evidence. That older men being with younger women is a good thing for society, good thing for genetics. It actually helps extend lifespans when older men impregnate younger women. I'm sure a lot of women are not happy about it, but what are you going to do? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Diana yes. on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah, I've been dating somebody for five years now, and he's way older than me. He's 21, and that girl that I called a while ago, she's right. Sex is the best. So you were sixteen, and he was. You were twelve, and he was sixteen when yes. you started dating. Yes. Does that mean you started having sex at twelve? Uh, no. <laughs> I started having sex with him right after my fifteenth. Ah, you yes. waited till your fifteenth birthday. Yes, he actually waited. God forbid he thinks you were a slut. Yes. <laughs> and yes, he has. Well, he we left each other for like eight months, like a year ago, and he had a little girl. Supposedly, oh. to his concern, oh. he has left his girl. This is trailer trash talk here. Are you kidding me? What is it about guys who do things like that? And what is it about you thinking it's okay? Well, see, I don't know. Is it because I'm I'm in love with him or I have no clue? Yeah, but the guy went out and had a baby with somebody else. He did. A baby. <laughs> a baby. And you think that's okay? No, but, I mean, when you care for somebody, you're going to be there for that person. Oh, really? No matter what they do. So if he goes out and has babies with three other women, you'll be there for him, too? Oh, no, no, not no more. That's What's it. the limit? How many babies do you get? Uh, Just one. <laughs> you get one baby. Yes. Two babies and you're out. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, he wasn't cheating on you. You would split up. We split up, yeah. We split up for eight months. and. Before... So if you split up again and he had a baby, you would not get back with him, or maybe you would? No, that's it. That's it. Right yeah, there. Uh, that's the limit. Yeah, there's so, just there's so much a girl could take, I guess. I can't believe you can take that much. <laughs> yeah. You think that's funny? No, it, it's embarrassing. What well, what part of it is embarrassing? It is, it's pretty embarrassing because like my whole family judged me about it. They were like, "You're wrong." As well, they should. They they have every right to judge you about it. I'm judging you about it. Yeah. Your family wants what's good for you. See, that's what plenty of people told me. Like he wants the best for you. And he's been honest. He's an honest and, like, really honest guy. Well, what choice does he have? He's got a baby. How's he going to hide that? Not true. Like he's doing you some favor. Oh, he was honest. Yeah, when they start taking money out of his paycheck to pay his child support, you're going to say, what's this? Yep. And uh, he, he had no choice marriage. but to be honest with you. True. He don't talk about marriage for the same reason, like, like, I'd asked him before, would you, like, get married? And he's like, no, because, you know, they'll take money from me. I know she'll put child support. And it's like, I guess that's what he's afraid of. And that's what's going to happen. And there you'll be by his side. And by the way, if you marry him, you'll be helping pay his child support. Oh, no, because I'm... they'll recalculate his child support based on the total household income, which will include whatever you earn. Oh. 
You think that's good? No, not at all. Well, that's what you have to look forward to. So in other words, money that would be used to feed the children that I'm sure you're going to want to grind out will be used to pay to feed this child and to buy uh, handbags and shoes for the woman he impregnated. Yeah. And you love him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think your family knows best, and uh, I've got to say that uh, I agree with them. They're right, you're wrong. I know. Well, if you know that, why don't you do something about it and change it? I don't know. I guess I, I can't leave him. It's like after so long, it's like, I guess. Dear, you're only 17. Yes, I'm only 17. Yeah, you are, you are too young to be committed to anybody. And so is he. But no, in his eyes, is oh, you know, I want to be with you. I don't care what's in his eyes. Perfect. I care what's good for you. Hello? This is not good for you. No. But you're going to do it anyway. You're going to be with him anyway. I guess, yeah. After, you know, yeah. And now what's the deal? He's not paying any child support? No, not right now. Like, well, they had an agreement of, you know, him seeing the, the little girl every, every weekend. Mm. But that's a problem, too. Why? Because he'll tell me he'll go see the baby. What assures me he sees just the baby? I'm sure he's also seeing the mother of the baby. Exactly. I mean, what, the baby's going to, she, she's going to put the baby in a cab and send it to him somewhere? Uh, exactly. This weekend was the same problem. I He told me he was going to go. I was like, fine, you go, you know, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to go out. He's like, yeah, you do that. He didn't pick up my calls. He didn't bother calling till yesterday. I well, so it sounds like there's a little trouble in paradise. Yes. I passed by his house and his cars are there, and I was like... Well, dear, you've just done a complete 180. Now we find out that you think he's still banging the other chick. Yep. And he might be. But you love him. Yeah. You're in love. You can't resist. You're in love because you've been with him since you were 12. You love him. Yeah. Yeah. Even though he's probably out banging the other chick. Yep. And right now, there might be a possibility he might be a dad again. You why did he say so? Uh, no, I am. I think I am. Well, why? Why do you think that? Well, we didn't. We had relationships, and like we didn't use protection, like for like the past three months. Wait a minute! You might be having a baby. Yes. Why did you do that? Because I'm dumb. Because I can't realize, you know, reality and. Just face it, he's never going to leave her. It's his baby mama. But it doesn't matter. You're 17. What are you doing having a baby? That's the same thing my sister told me. Why Why did you do it? I want to know the answer. One, because we were in the, like, you know, it happened. No, you made it happen by having sex without any birth control. Why did you let that happen? Because birth control gives you fat. <laughs> No, dear. Condoms don't make you fat. Diaphragm doesn't make you fat. There's all kinds of birth control that doesn't make you fat. Are you ignorant about birth control? Uh, well, I had been taking, like, I took them, like, like... Dear, there's 11 forms of birth control. The pill is one of 11 different kinds of birth control. Ever heard of a cervical cap? I heard of the pill, of the injection, of the so many other things. and What what other things? What other ones do you know? I believe that girls have their own condoms, like, you know. But I, did, I you ever, never, did you ever talk to your gynecologist or Planned Parenthood or anybody about this? Yes, I've talked to, well, I have, I have a clinic where I go. And feel yeah, that. and did you ask them to tell you all the different kinds of birth control? No. No, I just heard of one. Like well, dear, there. there's 11 of them. You want to have a baby. That's why you didn't ask, and that's why you let this happen. You think by having a baby with him, you're going to keep him around. Now, don't try to fool me. I'm not stupid. 
you could be right about that. No, I not could be right. I am right. Right? Yes. You let yourself get pregnant to keep him around. Didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So why do you lie about it? Do you lie to other people about it? Do you lie to yourself about it? Why do you lie about it? To myself, yes. To other people, I I try to let them know, like, yes, you know, I want him to be with me. I want to, like, form a family. But to what I see... Dear, you're 17. You're not old enough to feed a child. You don't have a job. You don't have money. Is that fair to your parents to lay that on them? No. Why are you doing it? Because you're selfish. I'm just thinking about myself. Yeah, and that's clear. You don't care about the quality of life that that child would live. You don't care whether you can afford to feed the child or clothe the child or shelter the child. You, you don't even have a high school diploma. No. You think this is all good? You think it's all a joke? No. You're a little girl and you are not mature enough to be doing these things. Yep. Do your parents know you might be pregnant? No, just... Why not? I, I talked about this with my older sisters. Why don't your parents know about it, if it's so wonderful? I guess I'm scared to tell them, like... You should be, because they're going to kick your ass. <laughs> yes, I might wake up with no teeth tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll bet your mom was married to your dad when she got pregnant with you. Yes. Yeah. So what makes you think that you should do it differently? I don't know. I guess if I am, well, you know, I don't believe in abortions. That's one thing. But why don't you believe in birth control? Because you are a stupid little girl who just wants to get pregnant to keep your boyfriend from putting it in someone else. You don't ever bother to think about how much it's going to cost or what kind of life that kid's going to live. You don't care. You don't care about how your parents are going to feel because I know your game plan. Your game plan is to dump that kid on your parents to take care of. That's what you're going to do. All your siblings, you're going to get them all involved. I need somebody to babysit while I go out and party tonight. True. That's you, isn't it? And I see, clearly I didn't see it because... I mean, I have my older sister, and she's been through it, and she talked to me about it. And I really didn't care. I was like, you know what? That's your life. I'm never going to be like you. And now I see myself, and I'm like, you're such a whore. You're beyond being a whore, dear. You are irresponsible, and you don't care. You care only about yourself. Yeah. If you don't believe in abortion, you shouldn't be having sex. Do you understand? Yeah. If you don't believe in abortion, you should do what all conservative people who don't believe in abortion do. They wait until they get married and they have sex with the person they marry. My God, this makes me sick. The Tom Likas Show.